What is up players, it's Warboss Tay back up in this mug doing the second video of the, my two part series on the Space Marine, Tech Marine, and Servitors in the finest of casts by Games Workshop. And I just gotta say I'm kind of uh, glad that they're obviously on, they're moving away from the fine cast and going more to these new plastic sculpts, but uh, I gotta say the this the metal sculpts before the fine cast experiment are some of the, the best ones to uh, to paint. They really feel so weighted and like actual art pieces. And I'm looking at these fine cast pieces and I think I just wish I had the metal versions of these servitors because they're so well done, I, I think, and they just make me sad that I'm, I'm working with them. Okay, so again, you can see the little bits of extra flash under the feet I have to clip off away from the sprue so that they'll even fit into the uh, bases and uh, you might notice me cutting towards myself I uh, don't don't do that that's what I learned cut away but uh, by then bad habits were already ingrained in my body I've, I've sliced open my thumb many a time so <laughs> yeah do do what I say not as I do and that's that piece oh all oh, that flash on the uh, chain sword there. There are also weird little resin like extensions on the bottom of some of these servitors chins. You might have seen me pointing to it earlier. Uh, it's going really fast because I want to just get these guys built up. I did this in I would say maybe like two hours last night. I just had the camera going. I was listening to uh, some old videos and uh, writing writing out the the questions for the July painting challenge this year and or, um, you know, while, while I was getting things in between these videos set up. And I was just thinking that uh, if I could go back and do a Space Marine army, now that the 8th edition is coming out, which which army would I do? Because I've, I've gone through, I've painted over, I painted out just about every single chapter from the original first founding chapters. And um, I've had a little force of Astro Claws Space Marines. And uh, I, I've just never really created an entire army. I like painting very specific things from all of the different armies, but I, I think that the servitors and the tech marine look really, really great. And I don't know. With the new box set coming out, Dark Imperium 2, there's there's that to think about. Ultramarines and, and Death Guard. But it's a lot of, I find <laughs> whenever I'm painting something, for a video or for a commission, it always makes me think that I want to uh, actually start a little collection of them, and that's that's when you start going down that rabbit hole that you never come out of. Uh, again, I'm using Army Painters Super Glue Activator to uh, spray on. Once I put the super glue on, you'll notice that when it dries, it has a very kind of white look to it, kind of almost like foam that's been hardened into place, and that's easily covered up when you are priming your models. So that, that goes away, and it never really obscures any of the detail as long as you don't over apply your super glue. If you put too much super glue and you spray the heck out of it with a super glue activator, it will dry very thick and obscure the details. So you want to be very conservative, which is the ideal with super glue Anyway, you don't want to put so much that it's going to start spilling out and leaking all over the place. That's how you get gummy fingers, and uh, nobody wants that. Nobody wants crusty fingers. I think of uh, just because I haven't worked with fine cast in a long time, these models were uh, very frustrating for me because of all the, the extra fine cast bits. But there were, you know, some of the newer models that they did in fine cast that were never in metal, I found to actually be not bad with the, the fine cast. Uh, I'm thinking specifically of like the Dark Angels characters that they came out with, uh, Belial, the Terminator special character. And you know, when they actually sculpt for the material, for the fine cast material, it's not it's not as bad as with these metal ones where they're really trying to figure out, okay, how, how can we get this look into this model and work with the fine cast and the molds and everything. And so you get them on the frame looking all, all janky. Surprisingly, there are not too much mold lines on these models, which is great. There, there's actually less mold lines than with uh, plastic figures. But uh, you do get a lot of this extra 
extra resin bits sticking from the feet to the tab or um, also some bad areas are like on the backs of the models or anywhere like by the hips sometimes you might see a little bit of that extra resin flashing and uh, that's no fun also so I was choosing the arms to use for these guys and I decided to go with uh, servo arms and um, the one with the drill the chain sword with the drill I think in the game before servo arms were the way to go you want these guys with the with the uh, kind of clamps in the rules they were the best way to go but I thought having one guy with the, the chain sword and the drill was gonna look good and it's too bad that I, th I think you have servitor options other than the heavy bolters but uh, you only get the heavy bolter option in the kit you might have to use some some other way of kit bashing so here we go and I like look at the cables on the guy's right arms just kind of hanging out like tentacles I think that's so great it looks really really good that's the first guy here's our second guy here and he's got a little grill over his mouth I think that looks really nice and um, I think when I actually paint them I'm going to go with a very kind of pale and bloodless skin tone to look almost dead and necrotic. I've seen them painted with green skin tones before. I don't really care for that, like a light green, almost nergly looking skin tone. I don't think I care for that as much. I think I'd rather have them be just very pale or, if anything, bruised looking, maybe purples and reds and blues in the, in the recesses. So my third guy, he's got a little metal plate on his head, and you can see that awesome chain sword and drill. And here's our fourth guy here. He's also got kind of like a metal head plate and um, an eye lens. And I like his robot arm. His right hand is like a robot. The power glove. Finally, of course, you've got the big daddy, big papa here, the tech marine, striding forward, aiming and uh, aiming with one hand, holding aloft his power axe with the other, the symbols of the Adeptus Mechanicus, which are the, uh, the machine god on the axe there, as well as on the shoulder pad, I think. And there you have it. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this assembly video. What a great model. I'm, I'm kind of glad that I got to work with him because I've never built up or painted the Tech Marine before, so it'll be fun. So stay tuned for that, and I hope you have a great day and a great night wherever you are. We'll see you in the next video. Laters, players!